Hey guys, so Apple is wasting no time releasing yet another major beta update today releasing iOS 16.2 developer beta 1 and now this one's for developers public beta testers you should see this populate on your device in the next 24 to 48 hours after the filming of this video now of course in today's video we're going to go over everything that's new with the latest iOS 16.2 developer beta 1 so let's just dive right into this video now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now this one comes in at approximately five to five and a half gigs that's updating from ios 16.1 to 16.2 developer beta one that's always going to vary right depending on your device and the software that you're updating from now if we go here into general and let's go into the about section here and let's take a look at the current bill number there it is 20c5032 e now of course this one is beta one so we can expect apple to release a few more betas before the official release now aside from ios 16.2 developer beta 1 apple has also updated ipad os which we'll talk about in this video as well ipad os 16.2 beta 1 is now available for the ipad mac os 13.1 developer beta 1 is now available for the mac watch os 9.2 developer beta 1 is available for the apple watch and of course tv os 16.2 developer beta 1 is available for the apple tv now the first thing i want to talk about is a brand new app coming from apple is called free Form. Now, this one was rumored to be coming to the iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac, and it is here with Mac OS 13.1, iPad OS 16.2, and iOS 16.2 Developer Beta 1. As you can see right here, this one is to get creative, build your board, and collaborate with others. So basically, what this application will do, this is going to be great for school environments, work environments, brainstorming, creating, getting creative. Anyone and everyone that you invite can actually collaborate and also participate on what you're creating here so again as i mentioned great for schools and work environments and if you're into designing or maybe putting uh, big projects together this is going to be great for brainstorming so here is the ui fairly simple you have your share options here where you can share right there invite someone directly from here you also have additional options here as rename duplicates favorites also turn it export as a pdf we have a create button right there for a new one you also have the ability right here on the bottom left to add sticker or sticky notes right there and you can tap into here double tap to actually go ahead and insert text you can also change the colors right here if you wish to do so text also delete from right here you also have the ability to add shapes to this board as well you have the ability to add text of course you can double tap for text and tap once for additional options down here and you also have pencil support so it looks like apple pencil support obviously is going to be for the ipad and for the mac as well and yeah this is pretty much a free open canvas where anyone and everyone can participate there's also additional options here in settings so if we go to the freeform extension here we have some Siri extensions available for it as well and we have additional options here now where this really shines is on iPad OS so let me go ahead and show you here on iPad OS because of course we have a bigger canvas here and on iPad OS there it is freeform and again this app is from Apple right there it is so right there you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and see recent shared and then favorites of course all the boards are available here and you also have your menus up on the top right right there as well so yeah freeform is going to be a great application for those of you that like to collaborate on projects with others i think it's going to be a great great alternative for those of you that are looking to have this creativity part built into the iphone of course the apple pencil does not work on the iphone in case you thought so i just wanted to demonstrate that but yeah freeform is a new app and i'll cover this one in depth let me know if you want a full review of this brand new apple app uh, aside from from that we're also expecting apple to add additional features to 16.2 such as satellite communication okay so this is a feature that we've been expecting apple to add to the iphone and it's hopefully coming in the near future so satellite communication should be coming to the iphone with ios 16.2 although still not here i did notice that if we go to the emergency sos section these two are grayed out and i can't really tap them so hopefully within the next beta we start seeing a quick glance of satellite communication on iphone 14 models that is of course now stay tuned here to the channel because i'll continue digging around the software and i'll give you guys a follow-up video in the next two to three days here on the channel make sure to subscribe and stay tuned as of right now freeform is the brand new application available on 16.2 thank you for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one peace